A robotic fish, a flower that seems to bloom before your eyes, a miniature blimp. They're all powered by electroactive polymers, or in simpler terms, artificial muscles. It's plastic that respond to electrical stimulation. Uh, we call them artificial muscles in generic term because these are materials that when you um, excite them with electric electricity, uh, they change size, they change shape, and generate force, and they very much, if you're looking at them, they look alive. Researchers found that not all polymers react the same way, which helped lead to the development of robofish. If we pass a, a, a current from one side to the other, and say, then what we can get is an oxidation on one side and a reduction on the other. So if this side oxidizes and this side reduces, we end up getting a bending in that, that motion. And when we uh, hit the voltage in the other direction, then we get a bending in the other direction. Taking clues from nature, the technology is being used to develop new propulsion systems. Next step we want to, to uh, um, address is to make a hull of such a blimp active, such that the whole body can move. When we make the body move like a fish, and uh, then we will have a, um, a propulsion system, a bionic propulsion system for an airship. NASA and the Jet Propulsion Laboratory say the ultimate aim for the artificial muscles is the development of robots to explore the solar system. Or Larissi Associated Press.